All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a review for You Suck at Parking. I got a code for this game last week. Shout out to Stephanie from Dead Good Media. Happy Volcano are the developers of this game and I played it on Xbox Series X. I haven't fully completed it yet, but I only have a couple of stages left before completion. And I think I have enough of an opinion to do a review for you guys for Embargo today. So I usually do the seven Ps method for my reviews, playing, plot, people, places, picture, all that kind of stuff. Um, but for this game, there's not really any of that involved. So we're just gonna be focusing on the gameplay, the creativity, how fun this game is to play generally. But uh, let's jump into the review. You Suck at Parking is an incredibly creative new title and the only racing game where the goal is to stop. So the premise is simple. You have to stop the car in the parking spot, but the intricate level design and difficulty is what makes doing it so much fun. So You Suck at Parking starts off simple with a few easier levels with not much obstacles to get you to grips with the game and the mechanics and all around the main map there's parking spots uh, there's this little hub world basically and there's parking spots within the hub world and that'll take you in to the the levels which have about five to ten levels within the main level so each level within that has between two to five parking spots and you start with one to three minutes on the clock uh, clock. I, why, why do I keep going to say clop instead of clock? It's a clock. Jesus. But if you get a car in a parking spot, it adds a little bit of time to your overall clock as well as you try to get it into the other spots. If you use the same amount of cars as there is parking spots, it's counted as a perfect run, which uh, everything goes gold. It's nice and crisp. And that adds in another layer, really, because this is incredibly difficult to do. So for the people out there who really want the challenge, perfecting every level is going to be dastardly no doubt each new island you travel to has new levels with a new obstacle each time um, sometimes you get like a cop car chase you can get mines you can get boxing gloves you can get fireballs going around in a circle like a fire machine that spits out fireballs that's probably my least favorite one honestly because that is just annoying but um yeah the boxing glove will like launch you off the map and there's so much more as well um it's really cool how each island you go to you know there's going to be like a new addition which will make things even more difficult and add another layer of complexity to the to the level design getting a good run in this game is just super satisfying and i ran through the first islands quite quickly i was just like in a rhythm i was just like bop 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 beating the levels really easier but now it's starting to take me a lot longer to do as the levels have got way more complex and they take some serious planning and that's where the inspect feature comes in handy as well you can inspect each level before doing it to see the best route to take and to see where all of the parking spots and the obstacles are because it's hard to see um at the start sometimes because you'll be going around in circles and and going up and down and there's these different things that can like take you over to other areas like fans and uh bouncy i don't even know how to describe it but you have these bouncy things that you can bounce on to go up higher some of the routes in the game especially the fireball spitting one i got stuck on were just a bitch to do though uh, it's not all based on planning sometimes you just gotta drive right and the levels with the fireballs were probably my least favorite um, because at times they felt very luck-based and frustrating more than fun. Um, but then I went to the Mastery Islands, which you get for perfecting levels. Uh, I think you have to perfect like maybe like 50 to get unlock the first island and then 75 or something like that anyway. You unlock them for perfecting levels, not just for completing levels. And I think in my first Mastery level, I ran out of time completely. And when you run out of time, it doesn't just like end your go. It lets you go on with that car as your last car. So if you crash that car uh, or you don't park it in the parking spot, that's your game over. But I completed it with the last car and honestly that was just extra satisfying it was really cool um, but as the levels went on I got less fixated on getting the best times and the leaderboard and um, because there is a leaderboard there and at the start I was like oh I'm top 100 oh I'm top 50 that's great and I know like obviously the game isn't public to everyone yet but there was quite a few people had played the game already I believe I, when I done badly I was down like 200 and then if I if I got like top 15 I felt like I was absolutely awesome uh, but simply Simply completing the level in the later ones feels like a, a big win. 
Now, I did speak a little bit earlier about the hub world, and this was probably my least favorite part uh, about the game, honestly, because it's just too big, it's confusing, and it's annoying. There's nowhere to see where you are on the map and to see where you're going to see the levels that you haven't done, and, and sometimes I just don't know where the hell to go. At one point, I just gave up and, like, turned off the game because I was like, I really don't know where to go next. <laughs> um, but there is... Even when you do know where you're going, there's loads of little obstacles that just get in your way and you kind of crash and you have to reset your car and you crash and reset your car. It's just getting from one place to another is incredibly annoying, which is a shame because uh, the hub world actually is a big part of the game. Um, I wish I could just like choose the levels and ignore the hub world completely, but uh, it is what it is. That's a part of the game that I don't like. But generally, I did like the game. I think that it's super creative and fun and I think you guys will enjoy it, especially the people that enjoy these kind of time trial challenge type of games. That's definitely one for you guys because it is tough and challenging and unique. And that's something that I can appreciate as well for a small team to be making games like this really cool. Like the cop chases and stuff like that within uh, the level where you have to kind of avoid them and then park it on the parking spot after like sending them off the map or there's rockets that can chase you and you have to weave and get out of the way. And But the levels do get really crazy as you go on and, and just a lot of thought has gone into them. I use a, a 30 point system where basically 1 to 10 is a disaster, uh, 10 to 15 is poor to average, and 15 to 20 is decent up to good, and 20 to 25 very good, and so on and so forth, but basically 25 to 30 is like all timer. So I would definitely have it in the decent to good category. Overall, I'd probably give it like a 16 out of 30. That's how I usually do my system. Uh, 16 out of 30 means that the game is is good. So I enjoyed my time with it. I'm definitely going to go ahead and try and complete it. Um, it was frustrating at times, but what kind of games like this are not frustrating? And it, they're not doing it right if they're not frustrating, because that makes it all the more satisfying when you do beat these incredibly difficult levels as well. I'm going to get back to it and try and finish this game off. Thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. Make sure to check out my other reviews here on the channel and check out my playthroughs as well. I'll be doing a lot more review content here on the Apex Sound too. So if you enjoy this style of content, please drop a like. Shout out to Sanakagi for editing this video and i'll see you guys next time it's been my pleasure to serve you all make sure you subscribe and i'll see you next time peace out people places picture graph uh phone pop wow fact well uh, i can't speak for my reviews which include why can't i speak and you start with one to three minutes on the clop clop holy shit i'm just gonna start that whole playing part again so if you use the same amount of cars as there is car, uh, look. there's nothing more satisfying really than no. out of 30 means that the game is, is good. So uh, 10 to 15 is poor to bang average. Um, six, uh, I can't speak. 15 to 20 is decent up to good. And 25, to, no, 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 I'm gonna start that hole again because I'm just fucking it up.